it's 1.181 billion for the members and roughly 526 million for the dependents. Wait a minute. Wait a minute here. Yun okay. ang pinapababalita, yung bang korupsyon, malawak ang korupsyon sa PhilHealth na may mga bogus claims. I have been actively looking since I had joined, although I'm very new, no? So far po, to be honest, uh, wala po, po akong nakikita, no? In fact, um, I, I've been... Wala po kayo nakikita ng korupsyon sa PhilHealth? Mismo na si Presidente Duterte, inadbit niya na may korupsyon eh. Diba? Kaya nga gumawa siya ng paglilinis. Pero, I have, wait a minute, I, I I get, I'm, I'm offended, even the taong bayan are offended. So, you guys are smart. Hindi mo kayo mapupunta dyan o malalagay dyan sa inyong mga posisyon kung hindi kayo smart. Di ba? I'm sorry, sir. I'm really sorry about you. I feel sorry about you. I feel sorry about PhilHealth. Kung katulad niyo po ang magpapatapo ng PhilHealth, I feel sorry about PhilHealth and all the members. Kung ganun rin lang po yung estilo niyo po papapamalakas sa PhilHealth. I'm sorry. Wala yan. Walang OFW ang may kinabang. Maliban lang siyang sabi ng reimbursement. And then kung meron talaga, then gusto ko makita yung records. Noon. Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. Please, uh, my, uh, Mr. Desma. I just want to make a quick comment, Your Honor. Um, based on the question of Honorable Senator Rafi earlier, we were able to extract the data po for 2021. And the breakdown for as follows, no? For the members, the payment, the claims amount was 1.181 billion. Now for the dependents, the claims amount is 526 million. So to summarize po, mas malaki po yung claims ng member versus the dependents po. So, this, so to, to repeat po, it's 1.181 billion for the members and roughly 526 million for the dependents. Wait a minute. Wait a minute here. Okay, so ibig mo sabihin na papakinabaga ng halos lahat ng mga OFWs ang premium nila. Sasabi ko lang po kanina na marami sa ating mga OFWs hindi po nagagamit yung pinal sapagkat yung amo po nila ang nagbabayad sa kanilang pagamot pa papadoktor pag hospital so i think ko you mean to say after pa pagamot dito mga OFWs natin libre ng kanilang mga amo sisigilin nila ang in health kabo sa 1.181 billion sir Mr. Chairperson Honorable Senator Rafi Tulpo sir the data shows in general the reimbursed amount in terms uh, uh, for the defendants and the members. Uh, no, 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 sir. Let's just talk about, sinabi kasi ni Mr. Ledesma na yung claims paid sa member, meaning those sa OFW na nagbabayad ng premium, umabot sa 1.181 billion. Mas malaki pa kaysa doon sa relatives. Pero kung sasabihin niyo mas malaki yung dependents kaysa OFW, mas ka panipaniwala. This record, yung pagtingin nyo, tingnan nyo ulit, magsalamin kayo, sir. Kasi kung tama yung sinasabi nyo, then, pasang kilay ng mga OFWs natin. Bakit? One, so, 1.181 billion yung claims nila, samantalang, eh, pag ginagamot sila doon sa Saudi, Kuwait, kung saan man lugar na yun, ang mga nila magpapayad. Libre. Wala pa ako narinig ng OFW natin na pagbalik dito sa Pilipinas, Sila ay nagkiklaim for reimbursement. I haven't heard of that. I have still to hear about that kind of statement from you, Attorney Santos, sir. Mr. Chairperson, Honorable Senator Rafi Tulpo, sir. So the data presented earlier by our uh, President and CEO pertains uh, in general to the uh, amount reimbursed to members and dependents. It was for this reason, uh, Mr. Chairperson, Honorable Senator Rafi Tulpo, that we requested that we be given the opportunity to provide this uh, committee the specific data that pertains only to the claims of... Mr. Chair, uh, sir, hindi ba, Mr. Desma, kayo dyan sa PhilHealth, 
No, you guys are smart. Hindi mo kayo mapupunta dyan o malalagay dyan sa inyong mga posisyon kung hindi kayo smart. Di ba? Kasi meron mang ginagawang betting ang Malacanang screening uh, for smart people to uh, serve the different departments of our government, right? So, you being smart people, the two of you, it defies logic. What I'm saying is, you know, paying 1.181 billion to FWs na hindi naman sila na hindi naman sila yung nagnabalad uh, ng gamutan sila yung nasa abroad, kundi yung kanilang amo. And then pagbalik dito, pag-claim uh, pa rin sila. I'm not questioning yung data ninyo. Na talagang, I'm sure, meron kayong ganun data. However, I'm questioning the legitimacy of that data that you have. Baka, yan ang ating napababalita, yung bang korupsyon, malawak ang korupsyon sa pill health na may mga bogus claims. Ito na nga po siguro yun, na may nagbatay ng claims on behalf of these OFWs na hindi naman. May take yung kanilang pirma, pero I need those records. Tingnan ko, isa-isa kung kinakailangan, pagkukulatan ko yan at ng mga staff ko, kung talagang sila ngayon nag-claim for reimbursement, eh baka naman hindi sila. Kapag hindi sila, eh dapat may makulong. Yes, sir. Mr. Ledesma, sir. Your Honor, um, Your Honor, thank you very much for the question. Uh, we fully understand uh, the point you're driving at in your question. So, so with all due respect, Mr. Chair, if we could be given some time, what I will do, I will personally um, submit, we will break down, we will extract uh, in full detail all of the data broken down po para makita nyo po very clearly um, saan nang gagaling yung full figure po. With the indulgence of Senator Rafi, ang concern niya kasi, kasi we, we know for a fact that feel health before, ang mga issues yan, mga bogus claims, yan yung mga nag-uubos ng pondo ng ano eh, feel health, yung mga upcasing. So, siguro, what are you planning to do para masiguro lang na yung, baka mamaya daw kasi yung mga, yung mga claims, baka galing sa mga bogus, what are you do uh, under your leadership and the forms that are being undertaken by PhilHealth para masigurado that those who are claiming talagang legit. Siguro yun ang concern ni San Rafi. Baka daw kasi yung, yung mga bogus, that, yung mga dating issues, no? Ano pong ginagawa nyo? And okay, before you answer that question, Mr. Desma, sir, January 11, 2023, dito tayo, hindi kayo kasama, consultative meeting, and I already requested for those records. Bakit hindi po dala? Hindi po kayo sinabihan ng inyong mga tauan na um, na pag-usapan ito at maaaring itatanong ko ulit. So, for the second time, I'm asking you. So, sa sunod nating hearing, baka wala na naman. Again, thank you for your question, Mr. Honor. Your Honors. Um, first of all, we will, we will comply. We will submit the data as soon as possible, Your Honor. Maybe if you can give us uh, even just a few days, uh, Your Honor. Um, like I said, uh, you will personally see to it that uh, the, the data is complete, um, it's in detail, and it will be submitted to the good committee. No? Um, and, uh, yeah, yes. To, to finish first your question, Your Honor, and you were saying last January 11, um, you requested for that to be submitted. Um, I'd like to apologize in behalf of the group no? um, why it was not submitted. But again, po, maybe you can be accountable uh, for the for a, after a few days we will submit that po. to answer the question thank you sir, thank you, sir. Uh, you're welcome your honor to answer your question um senator ehersito no um, we're doing a lot of things but mainly yung regarding the bogus or the fraudulent claims no um even before i joined um i know that was one of the issues that was brought forward to me to my attention no so one of the things we're principally focusing on now um, uh, is um, for the full computerization and digitization of field health. No? A lot of this po kasi, yung pagka-recording, yung delays, yung a lot of that is really to do medyo, medyo backdated po kasi yung sistema namin. No? So uh, it's susceptible to, uh, um, I'm not saying there was fraud or there is, uh, there is connivance and all that, but it's susceptible. So... We are working, we are prioritizing that. And in fact, we have met with with uh, both private sector, with government. Uh, we've been coordinating very closely with the ICT, SEC, Ivan. And uh, we, are, we are on 
the right path po. Again, these things take time, but uh, I can um, fully promise uh, this good committee that uh, we are addressing it, we are working on it, and uh, we are trying our best to move to move it forward. No? Um, that's all, Your Honor. Thank you, po. Ma, maganda nga yung sinasabi mo, i-computerize nyo na uh, yung pong uh, sistema nyo dyan sa PhilHealth, right? Kahit anong klaseng computer ang ilalagay nyo dyan, pero kung yung nag-operate ng computer at yung mga tao dyan, mga luko-luko, nandiyan pa rin, tuloy-tuloy pa rin korupsyon, tuloy-tuloy ang ligaya. So if I were you, kailangan nyo pong magwalis. Walisin nyo po yung mga luko-luko dyan. In fact, nakakatawa nga Mr. Chef, panahon ng pandemic nga na to, na yung isang sinabing korap, ay na-promote. Rap na nga, promote. Diba? It's not you, sir. Not, not you. So, siguro po, maglinis-linis kayo. Uh, linisin niyo po yung PhilHealth. Uh, Mag-investiga po kayo sino-sino po doon yung involved sa korupsyon. Alisin niyo po yun. And then, maniniwala ko na maging maayos na puntak po ng PhilHealth. Maniniwala kaming lahat. Okay, sir. Thank you, Mr. Ledesma. Can I comment, Mr. Chair? Go ahead, sir. Um, we hear you. We hear you loud and clear, Senator uh, Tulfo, Your Honor. Um, um, when I when I uh, when I had accepted this position, po, um, actually, po, I was I was um, actually personally handpicked by the president, no, to to for this position, and uh, I actually promised them that uh, I would do my best to continue moving, you know continue all the good things that Phil has done and if ever if ever I find out that there are uh, wrong doings or shortcomings uh, we shall we shall definitely address it po no um, I can assure that to this good committee um, what I'm asking sana in return from the good senators and, uh, and I'll, I'll I said the same thing to the good congressmen no sana sana po bigyan nyo kami ng uh, Bigyan niyo kami ng pagkakataon, no? Uh, you know, if, if the president, if the president of the Philippines has a so-called uh, 100-day honeymoon period or 200-day honeymoon period, para po kami rin. Uh, parang give us this chance, no? Uh, we, hear you, we hear you loud and clear. Hmm. I personally, I don't know if there is all this talk, if it's there, if it's not there, no? I, I have been actively looking since I had joined, although I'm very new, no? So far po, to be honest, uh, wala po, po akong nakikita, no? In fact, um, I, I don't know kayo nakikita ng corruption sa PhilHealth? As you know, previous, as far as, uh, from, from, ganito po, I have, I have joined less than two months. I know, sir, pero, I wait, wait a minute, I, I I, been, I'm, I'm offended, even the taong bayan are offended. Kung sabi niyo po, samantalang deklarado na po yan, nag-hearing yan dito, at, Marami ng mga ebidensya na papakita na may mga bogus claims na ipapayon ng mga doktor at hospital and then sabi mo, wala ka pa rin nakikita. Sir? Um, Mr. J, yes. Sir, uh, can, can, I, can I cite an example? No. Um, yes, sir, kasi sabi mo, wala pa rin nakikita. So, you're making stupid out of us. Out of all of us. Kasi, na media na po yan. Malat na po yan. Paulit-ulit na lang yan sa media na mga bogus claims, meron na nga po mga na ombudsman, meron na po mga inimbestigahan. And then sabi mo, wala ka pa rin nakikita. So kinukunta mo po yung mga records na lumabas na with pieces of evidence showing talagang it existed. And yet now you're saying, wala ka nakikita. And when you're asking for honeymoon period, of course, I'll give you honeymoon period. Why am, am I doing this? In-expose kita, total, wala ka pa lang nakikita. Now, this is opportunity na para makita mo, ma-expose ka doon sa mga nangyaring kabalian doon sa pilan para hindi na maulit when you watch. Pero sir, first, dapat tanggapin mo na meron talagang problema sa field health. Huwag po yung yung in denial eh. Pero talaga pala agad, sasabihin mo wala, malinis kami. Then, I'm sorry sir, then you're not good for that position. For you to be able to clean an organization that has been punished with corruption, first you have to accept that there was really corruption. Do not be in denial. And that's the only way na para masolve mo po yung problema. Hanggapin niyo po muna and then saka ko yung maglinis. Hindi yung pwedeng walang nangyaring problema rito. Then wala ka malilinis. 
um, melted for. Um, what I wanted to say po was this, no? I, I, I understand fully, and I'm with you po. If you want to solve a problem, you have to admit first that there is a problem and what is the problem, no? Now, what I'm saying po is, I had just joined PhilHealth, and I am thoroughly looking into everything, no? Um, because, again, one of the, one of the, even before I joined, I had, I did a lot of reading, I talked to a lot of, the ex-PCEOs, the ex-PhilHealth, ex and present PhilHealth employees, and I did my own research po, no? Now, what, I, what, what I'm doing now is, until there is uh, hard evidence, I'm not a lawyer po, no? But until there is evidence and proof, I don't want to falsely accuse anybody, po, no? Um, uh, if, I, if I may cite an example po, no? Um, Sir, meron na po lang yung mga investigasyon. I was expecting you to say na yung mga investigahan, investigahan ko. Alright? I will do my own investigation. Yes, meron mga ganun balita na corruption involved. Then, kung sino man mga yun, I will cooperate and I will investigate. Sir, nagkaroon pinag pinagtatakpan mo yun. Pero ba yun? I'm sorry, sir. Um, pinagtatak mo parang uh, sinasabi mo kasi sabi mo unless makita ka ng hard evidence eh hindi ka magsasabi ng kahit na ano about those people from two health who are accused of corruption mismo na si Presidente Duterte inadbit niya na may corruption eh di ba? kaya nga gumawa siya ng pagilinis na gumawa siya ng pagpapaimbestiga, naglagay siya ng mga bagong tao, even the person that was aware, fully aware that there was. And then here you are, sinasabi mo wala, unless na mayroong proof. Di ba, sir? Please don't. We don't know, sir, wala. Okay. Siguro, Mr. Ledesma, naiintindi ako yung, ano eh, yung position ni Sen. Rafi. We know for a fact that in the past, PhilHealth was hounded no, by several issues. No? Yung upcasing, yung, uh, ko, uh, yung connivance, no? that uh, yun, naubos yung pera ng ano eh. Diba? Because benefits yung mga OFW or employees, syempre they pay the premium. Dapat alam nila na maayos yung agency. So probably, ang ano nyo, since you are new to the job, that you have to admit that they, we need to reform and clean the agency. No? Kasi nga we have to make sure that the the funds will go to those who really need it. Di ba, kawawa naman, may upcasing, send up, may kakaroon dyan, simpleng bronchitis, gagawin ng pneumonia, simulang pneumonia, para tumaas. So, kunaibans between doctors, field health, and um, the patients. So, yun yung makailangan nating ayusin at limisin. And siguro, yun ang gusto ni send up, eh. we have to admit that there is a problem. Yun ang, I think, yun ang punto ni send up. Eh. And probably, send up with your indulgence, we will in connect in connection with uh, the implementation of UHC kailangan ng pag-aayos din ng field we call for a separate hearing na Opo. yung field health naman talaga ang uh, problema na field health and we will gladly have uh, si Rapi uh, yung support nyo and tulong nyo para Opo. talaga may ayos natin ng agency okay Mr. Chair kasi on record naman talaga yung mga sinabi niyo po diba yung mga pagpapain ng bogus claims may mga may mga napaulo ng kaso niyan nasa korte na iba niyan uh, may mga ebidensya na Diba? Na yung mga doktor, mga klinik, ospital, nagpapayal ng mga bogus claims, overpriced, overcharged. Now you're saying na unless talagang makita mo o ma-prove, hindi ka maniniwala. Come on, guy. I'm sorry, sir. I'm really sorry about you. I feel sorry about you. I feel sorry about PhilHealth. Kung katulad niyo po ang magpapatapon ng PhilHealth, I feel sorry about PhilHealth and all the members. Kung ganun rin lang po yung estilo niyo po papapamalakas sa PhilHealth. I'm sorry. Unless kung babaguhin niyo po yung inyong pananaw, attitude sa pagpapatakbo ng isang uh, agency na graft-ridden, who was well known to be graft-ridden for a year or two or for many years, then wala akong mangyarang pagbabago. Baguhin niyo po yung inyong pananaw, yung inyong estilo of governing. Change it. 
Because if you don't, then again, I repeat for the end time, I feel sorry for Phil Health and the members. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chair.